right, guys, we are doing some banjo bolt modifications here. Stock banjo bolt's pretty restrictive, so we are drilling it out with a 3 16 drill bit. That works pretty good. Uh, there will be two on the head, and here's the other one. It doesn't have a bleeder screw for it. The other one does. But drill these out to 3 16 for the flow from the lift pump to the injection pump. But I will get back with you whenever we cut off the shelf for the bleeder screw. All right, guys, we got the holes drilled. This is the bleed screw that goes in the end of one of the banjo bolts. And we just, see if it'll focus, uh, we cut the shelf off. So right where the flat spot ends, you cut straight down and cut that off. It will help the flow. Um, I'll, I'll explain it all later, but we're doing this Right now, I think we're just going to use a cutoff wheel or a grinder. Well, guys, we're getting, we're just getting back to town here. But this is the bridge where we get off the exit to go into my town here in Lamar. Let's see if we can get a little sound here. Sounds pretty good. Let's see if this Ford will get out of the way. The brights were on. My bad. I think it's an old 7.3. You guys need to get you some gauge cluster lights for sure. Same ones in there. But uh trying to get on it a little bit. Jeez, that bump is terrible. didn't die on me. Well guys, we are on attempt number three to fix our leak back here. As you can see, I mean, it's coming down the side of the axle. Everything is like coated back here because it's wet with gear oil. But, um, see, it's kind of hard for you guys to see. Right there, all those gouges, I believe that's that's the problem. So we're going to pretty much, I don't know if this is a no-no, uh, it shouldn't matter. I'm just going to get some RTV for gear oil. Actually, I've got it right here uh, for gear oil. I don't know what the difference is, but... We're going to put some in this little lip and try and fill in some of these. Because uh, at this point, I'm just willing to do anything to keep this thing from leaking. So, you guys will see a video of this. This will probably be the last little clip because I'm going to. This is going to be part of the fuel. Getting more fuel clip. But, uh, we'll keep you updated. And hopefully, this fixes it. I went and got a new seal. And, I mean, obviously, new yoke. Like. Whole bunch of new stuff so this thing should stop leaking i just checked this bearing and it seems to be fine so we're going to lube this up and hopefully let it sit and dry long enough to where it won't leak and probably have to fill it up a little bit but i'll catch up with you guys here in a few all right guys we got this thing all wrapped up uh did put rtv in there like i'd said I'm going to let it sit and hopefully it'll, I don't know, I guess you could say cure. You know, I just want it to dry and set up. Got the U-joint back on, made sure it was greased up. As always, I do not like whenever these things squeak, so I always keep everything that has a grease zerk on it. Always gets greased. I check them every now and then. Uh, I wiped off the bottom of 
the axle so I could see, so I could easily see if it was wet or leaking. Um, I, I might need to clean out my breather tube. That could be another reason it's pushing it out. But, uh, yeah, we got it wrapped up. Hopefully we got it fixed. Uh, just a little update here. Alright guys, um, I'm recording this on my phone. I don't know how to get the camera to flip around, but the, I'm doing a, this will, this video will be part of the fuel system series that I'm going to do. Uh, I already did the banjo bolts and all that, so that'll be in this video. Um, right now I'm doing, uh, I had, the injectors were, a few of them were leaking, so I went ahead and I'm doing all new copper washers. Uh, here's the kit, the thin washer kit. Dieselspeedshop.com. I'm sorry I'm shaky. Pretty hungry. Uh, that's the kit. It comes with, um, obviously, the washers for the bottom, the thin washers. Uh, these go on the top of the injector, and then uh, the little, these for the return line. And then, obviously, you got your banjo bolts and all that. But uh, we are just... Kind of straighten that out. I'm trying to get rid of all my leaks. I got the rear end fixed. Uh, really starting to straighten th some things out. We're going to clean up the whole side of the engine, underside and the whole engine bay now that we're going to get all of our leaks fixed under here. Um, just ordered the upgraded fuel filter. It holds more fuel. It's just a bigger filter for it and the fuel heater delete. And after that, I'm going to be doing a beans diesel sump to 3 8 line. Uh, we're going to push this little piston lift pump to its max to prove to people that it can make the power. Obviously, you can go get a faster than air dog, but it's something about doing making your own and doing it on a budget. That's what us first gen guys are all about. So we're gonna do it. Fonder said it could that this could support 600 rear wheel, rear wheel horse. We're not gonna be touching that, so we're gonna leave it how it is. But we are about done. We're putting uh, the return line back on, getting all of our new washers on. So we got three. We just gotta do the front three here. And then hook them all back up, bleed our lines, we'll be ready to rock and roll. Just a little clip from today. Today is Wednesday. Oh, here's my new wheels and tires. Waiting on the spacers to come in, that should be soon. But I did, I mean, I went ham on the bores. I got my bore cleaning brush, the injector bore. Uh, obviously brake clean, some air. Just really scrubbed them good and made sure it got all of all of it cleaned out because they were dirty. Just want everything to seat right and no leaks. My biggest pet peeve is leaks. You guys know that. Nine on a twelve valve, so that's not the best combination. But we're hacking away. Just a little update here. Hey guys, I know these videos are sporadic. Uh, this is just right after the clip that I just took of me doing. Uh, injector washers and all that good stuff and it actually did make a difference they're sealing great now I cleaned the boards really good so it's looking good I'm actually seeing the, I don't even know if it would I'm sure it corresponds to each other because turbos are getting more fuel or getting happier uh, now that they're not leaking I'm seeing I I got it was at 50 after I did the wastegate did the banjo bolts jumped I got it up to 53 uh, and that and that was I mean that's absolutely pushing it like it will not hit anymore and on the way home just now it hit 55 so we're slowly seeing better uh, I expect it to get way better I plan on doing uh, 3 8 hose fuel line from the tank all the way to the lift pump and gonna do a beans diesel sump uh, that should help and yeah I can get it fast that's whatever but you guys, if you're a first gen guy, you know that we do it on a budget and we will find a way to make it work. And right now, if I do that, I, my fuel pressure will be fine. It's not going to be in danger of well, hurting anything. So that will definitely help. Probably it'll make the truck run a lot happier. It'll make it run better. I'm kind of looking forward to that. Uh, like I said, the upgraded filter is on the way along with the heater, fuel heater delete stud. So that should help. And eventually I'll probably run braided line, no banjo bolts, straight from the lift pump to the head and from the head to the injection pump. Uh, that's just for flow purposes. I, I'm, that's probably not my restricting factor, but I want to make sure that there's no restriction through there. I'll probably keep my return line the same. 
Uh, I don't think that matters as much. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure you can upgrade it, but I don't think that's going to be a big priority of mine. The turbos, uh, they're doing great. The setup's doing great. Uh, I'm just, just driving it, having fun. Uh, of course, more stuff will be coming. I mean, that, that little stuff, I'm doing the fuel series. So, And once I get done with it, we'll go over it with everything I did, parts, prices, uh, just for the rest of you guys that are doing budget first gym builds and you want to get squeeze every little every little ounce of fuel out of, like everything you can out of it without dropping 600 bucks on an air dog or 175 bucks on the line from TA, braided line from THD to run from the tank to the to the lift pump and stuff like that so uh, there is always a loophole for us first gen guys. If there's something out there, you can probably make it. I mean, that's just how it goes. Uh, but that will probably be all for this video. Um, got a new, no dad. Dad went and got he got rid of the juke. Uh, he couldn't couldn't fit in it very well, so he got a new ride. But uh, yeah, we're doing good. Everything, life's been good. We got to. Keep the truck running. I go back to school the 20th. If you guys don't know, I'm going to school to, I'll be in my uh, actual, or the degree name will be automotive technology with a emphasis in diesel, in diesel and heavy equipment. So pretty much just a diesel tech. I just love, love the industry. You want to learn more, just eat it up. Obviously I'm not anything as of right now. I don't have any certifications or anything. I just tinker with my truck. And I mean, obviously that's why I bought a first gen. I love it. Uh, but we're, we're trying to squeeze every ounce of fuel we can out of it. Uh, I'm not going bigger injectors, not doing it at this point. It is the fuel supply and getting the fuel to the injectors. Uh, so we're going to get that lined out and it should run way better and still hopefully get a time at MoCan. Hopefully we'll give that to you guys. The trucks are finally doing better. I mean, the rear end doesn't leak anymore. I cleaned out the breather tube for the rear end to make sure there's no there's, make sure there's no blockage uh, or air building up, whatever. And I mean, I'm just getting everything lined out. It's coming together. Uh, probably, hopefully, my spacer will be here so I can put the new wheels on so I can show you guys. Not bad for free set of tires and picked up some Fortune stocks for 200 bucks. Uh, there is stuff coming don't worry we're we're still hacking away we got a long way to go so you guys stay tuned obviously subscribe like comment finally getting hopefully we're going to get better at this whole youtube thing because it's not as easy as you think i guess it takes forever to upload videos so i'm trying to upload as much as i can but i live out in the country wi-fi sucks and i'm not going to go sit in town all day trying to upload a video so uh, you guys bear with me. I'm I'm trying to trying to do good. So uh, we'll keep hacking away at the videos and put together a little series for fuel on it for you guys in the air and just try and I don't know get some some questions lined out. I get a lot of questions and I've got a lot of questions for other people too. So uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, have a good one. Be safe. Don't do anything dumb this weekend. Take it easy.